Greetings, all of our wonderful viewers. Thank you so much for taking time to watch our little videos. Today, we're trying to resolve a problem that uh, happened yesterday. We went to Costco, and those of you that are familiar with Costco, when you are checking out, they will ask you if you want a box. And I, depending upon how much we have, I like to say yes, because I like to make one trip from the car into the house. It turns out, unbeknownst to me, Christy would rather make multiple trips, right? Yes. <laughs> the reason why is when you ask for a box, they give you the boxes that they have, and oftentimes you get one of these produce boxes, and normally we come home, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. I carry it in the house, I put it on the counter. Christy puts everything away, and that's the end of it. At least from my perspective. From her perspective, she now has a box that... I need to recycle, but it's hard to take... She needs to put it in the recycle bin, and they want it folded flat, or you know, at least made smaller. I want it so it fit, can I fit more in the bin. And there's that aspect of it too. And, it, and these are very cleverly constructed in multiple folds and stuff to make them stronger and hold all the extra weight because I don't know what this originally had. It's some sort of vegetables. So yesterday after we got home, she was voicing her, shall we say, frustration. <laughs> about now having to get rid of the box. And I told her just to put it out here in the garage and, and we would deal with it today because she mentioned it to me as I was on my way out, uh, out the door going to work. So I had a thought on how to easily make this box flatter, smaller. And of course it involves power tools. <laughs> Which way you are. The trick, of course, is to do this without drawing blood. Thank you. Now I can get it in the bin. Thank you. <laughs> so, how to flatten a box from Costco. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>